start seeing the gravity of the violence, the scale of the violence being used against Palestinians, uh, it became undeniable that we had to stand together. Black Thought and Quest Love of the Roots, uh, Royce the Five Nine, Rage Against the M Machine, Nicholas Yar, you know, Stefan Christoph. Then you have people like Patti Smith and Roger Waters. You, we have French artists like Medine on there. We have people from Colombia. We have people from Brazil. The most exhilarating experience of all this was to see this international coalition of people that believe that there should be a free Palestine. Fire is nothing new, you know, that's part of the game plan of every time the violence escalates in Palestine. I don't think the issue here is not the symptom, it's the it's the it's the disease, which is the occupation. The stance that these musicians are taking is not about what happened in the last two weeks, it's about what happened in the last 73 years. And everybody knows that this history goes deeper than the last two weeks. And everybody that signed this letter you know, knows that and, and stated that as they were signing. So really this letter is to, I think, is to address this larger issue and to show solidarity across the board that we won't be sharing our soft power as long as hard power is being abused upon Palestinians all over the world. had no no hesitation what are they gonna lose a, a a couple of shows and and you know maybe some some partners and so what that stuff will get replaced i think all the, all the people that are standing on the wrong side of history will eventually realize that they're standing on the wrong side of history and they will come back around and apologize so we're not gonna apologize for how we feel right now you know part of the people